hump day. Happy hump day. You know what? And if it's not Wednesday when you're tuning in, could be hump day. It could be another could be, hump day. Could be your hump day. Could be my hump day. Thank you for listening to you all. Um, my name is Nick Vial, and this is the Vial Files. Thanks Good thing you listening. said it that way, so Vanessa knows how to pronounce your last name properly. <laughs> In defense to her, so Chris Harrison still doesn't know. Um, speaking of which, that episode is out on my Patreon. Yeah. If you want to hear Vanessa, I just listened to it. Um, back, it's good. It's good. uh, it's fun. Yeah, I just think the clip alone of we, her being like, "I still don't know how to we say really, it." We really, uh, <laughs> we really, we were honest about uh, our uh, how things went down. It was nice to talk to her. Yeah. I think it was, um, I think also I think people who've ever obviously had a breakup with someone they once cared about, but also at another point, both wanted to maybe metaphorically, you know, to each other, uh, but appreciated the opportunity years later to talk and kind of feel like it was yeah. like therapeutic. That's good. Therapy. You know, it's out now. Check it out. Uh, go to the link in my bio on my Instagram and you can find it. How are you? I'm good. Chrissy. <laughs> I'm really good, actually. Because, <laughs> oh, that's right. You're about to go fly. Yeah, I'm doing the reverse. You're going to go fly and get some that D. La that last minute trip ended up being a reverse trip back to the other. So, uh, wow. Yeah. No expectations. Someone's going to get some action. I know. No expectations. Except for the sex part. <laughs> You're feeling vulnerable emotionally? I, I am a little bit. Uh-oh. But not a lot of it. But a little bit. But not a lot of I it. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. We have a great episode today. Uh, yeah. Constance Nunes. Yes. Uh, a wonderful, interesting, lovely woman. Yes. Star of uh, Car Masters on Netflix. Constance is a babe. I'm just going to put it out there. She's beautiful. And when you see her in person or you say we're going on her Instagram, you might be, you might, uh, you might just assume, you might oversimplify, but like, oh, hot chick. But here she is kicking ass yeah. in cars. And fuck, I don't know nothing about cars. She knows everything. I don't know anything about cars. It was a fun conversation to talk about, obviously. We have all these kind of gender biases in terms yeah. of like what women should do, should what men, what, uh, men should do and like you know I, I, like i grew up and my dad always drove my mom never drove if it was the two of them huh you're right i think that's just exactly the same in my head. i give a shit about driving really <laughs> if i am in a relationship if my girlfriend or wife wants to drive great it doesn't emasculate me but it's funny that we do so much in our society yeah. anyways uh we have a great conversation with constance about um you know, kicking ass in what's perceived as a male-dominated kind of industry. Yeah. And she this also awesome. just got uh, divorced, and so she's out there dating. in the dating wild. Uh, and because I, of who she is and how she looks, she gets those, like, crazy DMs. So that's, like, a fun little conversation yeah. as well. So uh, also, like, I'm just trying to be able to roller skate without people making assumptions about me and thinking that's something, like, women should do. People think only women should roller skate? Well, you know, sometimes people make uh, comments that I don't appreciate. Anyway, right. <laughs> it's fine. I don't care. I'm going to roller skate. I don't really I'm care. I'm just anything. saying you've got skills. So anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyways. No, it's not any. No, I know it's anyway. not anyways, but it's like your anyway. thing. So you should just lean into it. Uh, shall we get to Constance? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, Constance, how are you? Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm good. Good. Um. You're blowing up right now because you're killing it on uh, your wonderful uh, show, season two out now. On yeah. Netflix. Yeah, no, it's great. We uh, have fun. <laughs> so it, we thought it would be interesting to have you on because here you are um, kicking ass in what is perceived to be a male-dominated industry. And uh, it's almost kind of weird that we have industries out there that are dominated by one gender or another. Yeah, I mean, um, I think we're we're making progress. We're making progress. Yeah. You do you do you find yourself to be a trailblazer? You know, I think that there is a lot of women in the auto industry, but there are. Uh, 
like there really is like a lot of us when people come up to me and they're like oh there's nobody like you i'm like no there's a lot of like women out there that are doing what i do i just am fortunate enough to do it on a really big platform so i guess it's more that uh not that i'm a trailblazer but i feel like i'm a representative and i'm doing my best to be the best representative. Oh, I, I like that. Uh, and so you've been in, in, in the cars your whole life. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. what's your earliest memory of working on a car? Um, well, my dad was into drag racing, and he owns a shop in Thousand Oaks still to this day. Uh, so I kind of just worked on stuff with him all the time. Like, to me, it was very normal to come home from school and work on cars instead of, like, playing outside or doing something else. And you know, like everything there is to know about cars. I mean, I know a lot. I just, I love, <laughs> I don't want to You like, open you up like a hood. build cars. <laughs> yeah, no. You open I mean, up a hood of a car and you're just like, this all makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, I just love cars in any aspect. So, I mean, I primarily build, that's like my trade, I guess, mm -hmm. but I race, I mean, I love to do events, like anything that's automotive related, I'm excited about so you've like won awards racing. Yeah, no, I've done a lot of races uh, like rally stuff, off road stuff, drag racing. So I kind of I try my hand at everything your whole life, obviously. So when you got into it early, I mean, even no matter how, you know, we're always becoming more and more progressive. So yeah. things that are considered male or female dominated, you know, when you were growing up was even probably f seemed more rare. So when you were in a, a young person, did you like in like in school, did you tell people in school that you were the guys in you're into cars? Or um, did you were you, did you feel like you had to hide it? Oh, were the girls like yeah, why don't like you want to come like, um, like, yeah. <laughs> Was that like a weird thing? I or? definitely didn't have a lot of girlfriends growing up. That wasn't like a thing because I was into like boy stuff. Like I built cars, I liked shotguns, I liked playing like Super Nintendo, like I was just into boy stuff, but I was very girly, but I just didn't have a lot of girlfriends because I couldn't relate to them on like that many things. I feel like, <laughs> is, is gaming, like video gaming more, because there's a lot of more male. There's yeah. a lot of women. Especially back in the day. Back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Well, that was my question, because you're seeing more and more women getting into gaming. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe not so much back in the day. No. Yeah. And like I drove like a classic car to school, which you did. at the time. Yeah. Actually, the same car kind of I car. own today. <laughs> the same uh, car. Yeah. 64 and a half Mustang. And you just probably take really good care of it. Um, I mean, that's my baby. Like 64 and a half. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. It's technically like a pre-production Mustang. It's the first one that they ever made. Um, you had this in high school? Yeah. And I still have it today. <laughs> yeah what's it worth the car is actually more famous than me like yeah. online people like they don't even care about me they're like where's the baby staying where's that's baby? its did name you fix that up was that like a gift from your dad or uh, like, how did oh, you get no, like a no, no, car no, no. or did you do that I don't uh, know, like yeah, my, I had a my first car in high school was a 1980 orange Toyota Tercel hatchback that we called Jose because uh, of priest mean, that's name. Cool. Jose that sounds good. Listen, that's, in, that's yeah. like a whole vibe. I feel. Oh, like. it was a vibe. Uh, yeah. I actually <laughs> quite missed that car. So you're in high school driving this classic car. Mm -hmm. You're like you had the car that guys in high school would fantasize about having, so they could get chicks yeah. like you. Yeah. How did that work? <laughs> and then she's the chick that's driving the car. You're like, I got it. I don't, yeah. You're useless to me. Yeah. Because yeah. You know, the stereotype of like, what kind of car do you drive? You know? Yeah. Or a guy. And so you already you already had. Did you have a lot of guys? Did Did you ever feel like you intimidated men because um, of the, the, the hobbies that you were into? Yeah, a little bit. So do you find yourself being annoyingly challenged by guys? <laughs> um. Yes and no. Like, I think I have a lot of respect in the industry just because I've been here so long. I guess, Brian, but, maybe not so much in the industry. Cause, yeah, it sounds like you have an yeah. immense, immense amount of credibility in the industry. But, like, if you meet a guy and they're like, they you know, they, they're, they, don't, they don't know about cars. Or yeah. Like, and then they find out and they're like, really? Do they? Oh, the first thing is always this. They go, oh, what do you do? And I go, I build cars. And they go, let me see your hands. Oh, it's right. the first thing every single really? time. And I find it the most infuriating thing because they want to see your hands because they expect you to have these really like just dirty, gross, like no. when they say you have nails, they're like, there's no way. And I'm like, I've been working this way for my whole life and I've never had a problem doing anything. But it's the first question every time. 
Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. There's no way you work on cards with those hands. Hmm. And then do they follow it up with like, well, then tell me like if you work on cards. Oh, well, usually it's like if I'm like out at like a restaurant or a bar or something, I'm like, okay, cool. And I just like go outside to where my car is parked and get in and I'm like. See ya. (laughs) (laughs) That's the deal breaker question for her. I am, I got, I'm so close to getting this house and I tell you what, it's been stressful. So I basically have been using my Theragun nonstop. I'm like on the phone with my like real estate agent and then yeah. my my loan officer. <laughs> How's it go? You know, and it's uh, <laughs> and they're like, what, what's wrong with you? I'm like, so oh, it's my Theragun. Yeah, oh, so many yeah. things going through my mind right now. It's, it's great. Yeah, you love your Theragun. Truly, it's uh, it's so good. <laughs> Uh, I just I, I just remember always throughout my entire life of being like, can you run me here? Can you can you massage my neck? And no one really wanted to. And now you can do it yourself. I uh, well, since the pandemic, I feel bad. But I used to go to the Whole Foods and get a massage at the uh, in a chair. I'd go to their lovely at Whole Foods. Diane, Diane would rub me, <laughs> and Whole I would Foods. yeah in, in Venice, <laughs> and I would. Uh, and she had one of the, I love I love a good chair massage, and I would be sitting in Whole Foods, and I get a massage. Well. It sucks because pandemic Diane Diane, Diane hasn't been there. I, I spent that you can't take Whole Foods cup for. I spent twenty. I spent twenty five hundred dollars on massages in two thousand nineteen from Diane. Just add. I'd go three times a week. Anyway. 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 Um, I don't gun. have. I mean, I feel bad for Diane, but I don't have to know because I have the Theragun, and it's just like amazing. I'm yeah. constantly just. Do I want a massage? Done. On the plane, do I want a massage? Done. It's. Oh, that's so, right, because you get the travel one. Oh, it's so good. So good. Uh, so, I mean, like, try a Theragun. It's it's amazing. It's uh, and it's so easy to use. Handheld percussive, I can't even read it, therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension using a scientifically calibrated combination of depth, speed, and power. Now it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush, so you can use it on a plane. Try a Theragun risk-free for 30 days. There is no substitute for a Theragun Gen 4, not even Diane. With an OLED screen, personalized Theragun in the quiet and power you need. Starting at only one hundred ninety nine dollars. Again, I spent twenty five hundred dollars on massages last year. Go to theragun dot com slash v i a l right now to get your Gen Four Theragun today. That's theragun dot com slash v i a l l. Theragun dot com slash v i a l l. My time is limited, and I like to eat food. I like it to be delicious, and I like it to be healthy. Hello Fresh is making all these things very much easier, mostly because their food's awesome. Yeah, and it takes me usually thirty minutes or less to to make uh, a variety of different things: uh, sirloin, uh, salmon, chicken, and some vegetable medleys. I mean, they have a bunch of stuff. The list could go out of all the delicious th- things they have. Plus, it's cheaper than going to the grocery store. You can save forty percent uh, by using HelloFresh. I really dig in their balsamic fig sirloin. It's delicious. That sounds delicious. It's over sixty percent cheaper than the average meal out. Definitely cheaper than that. Yeah. Plus, you won't get bored because they send you new options every week. New really options cool. every week delivered right to your door. Uh, obviously, you know, we all want to have things delivered to our door so we don't have to go out. And yeah. Get- Plus, they have kid friendly stuff, which is really good to know. They have kid friendly recipes. They're vegan. You can get stuff for your current diet that you're on. Over 90% of their ingredients are sourced directly from growers to ensure the freshest recipes are delivered to your door. You can change what you want. It's, it's super convenient. I love it. Tastes good. That's the most important part. And the second most important part, it's like healthy for you. And the third most important part is super convenient. So get your HelloFresh. It's, I mean, I don't, like. it makes my life better. I'll tell you that much. So go to HelloFresh.com slash VileFiles80 and use code VileFiles80. That's V-I-A-L-L-F-I-L-E-S 80 to get a total of $80 off your first month, including free shipping on your first box. Additional okay. restrictions apply. Visit, please visit HelloFresh.com for more details. Go to HelloFresh.com slash V-I-A-L-L-F-I-L-E-S-80. You know, I get a lot of questions too. It's just like from from women who consider themselves uh, strong-minded or successful in whatever career that they are in. Uh, and they'll say like, are guys intimidated by, you know, strong-minded or successful women? Or are they intimidated by... Uh, um, you know, say a woman who's good at what's perceived to be masculine driven, you know, like at the risk of men feeling emasculated by like being outdone by a woman who's 
better at them at what's what's again what they even perceive themselves like i'm supposed to be good at this i'm a man yeah you know um i've never been that person like i've never yeah i don't you know, you know i don't i just have i just don't care <laughs> you know i'm a very competitive person yeah and in general but i just never felt like i don't care if i'm beat out by someone i don't really care what gender you are yeah um and i've always been is is as competitive as i am if if i'm beat by someone whatever it is uh i'm impressed yeah because i'm like you beat me yeah you know so i'm always like well how did you do that that's really cool like i want to learn like i feel like that's been a strength of mine to be able to not be like well fuck them they cheated or they got jealous (laughs) or, or whatever the reason is and so yeah it's never bothered me but do you feel like you've gotten that you know, in general, like, do you um, feel like you deal, deal with that in your dating life? I was more so focused on the fact that you were like talking about how women like ask you about that. Cause it makes me feel like they feel like they got to tone it down to like, yeah. you know, like get these guys to like be okay with them. And that makes me so sad. Yeah. Like, uh, I think it, I see, yeah, I see that a lot. I don't know if they feel like they have to, I, yeah, I've, I've, I don't. Yeah, I've, like you kind of have to, to like degree. dial it back. Like it's like if I was like interested in a guy that was also into cars, and like I knew something he didn't like, that would be like me being like, I'm not going to say anything and let him yeah. let him figure it out and look like he's like got yeah, it all yeah. figured out. Yeah, yeah. But I just don't like. I don't understand that at all. I feel like. But that's why I asked you the question yeah. because I honestly don't. Because like I said, because here I am thinking like, well, I. As a guy, that's not me. I don't think that way. I can't speak for every guy. So I don't know if if that is just a perception that women have because of like, say, a patriarchy kind of society we have. Is it like an excuse? Like, because sometimes it might be like, you know, a guy, like, let's say it's a successful person, a woman, and a guy is like, she's had a, a bad string of luck with guys. Does she like say, well, guys just don't like me because I'm smart and successful or is it because like you're annoying or, you know what I'm saying? Is it an excuse (laughs) or is it, and that's why I want, like, do you feel as someone who Um, clearly is in, who was successful, who's not only successful, but successful in an industry that society sometimes considers to be male dominated. Do you feel that or do you, or is it, do you you think it's, does that make sense? Yeah. You know, I guess I don't. I don't feel like I've personally experienced that, but I also feel like that's because I don't surround myself with people that have like that train of thought. Like I think when I think of the guy that would be upset about that, it's someone that I wouldn't be hanging around with or spend my time talking to or anything like that. So it's like, I think like in a relationship or even pursuing someone, like it's a mutual respect thing, right? So I don't, you should respect the fact that I'm really good at this and like admire that just like I would admire if you were really good at something. Um, So I can see where they're coming from. I just have never experienced that because I don't put myself in those situations. That makes sense to me, but I've kind of always thought, well, maybe... I think men really your men think that way. Well, it's just like, (laughs) but I also think that sometimes when I was hearing that, I was like, I don't know if these, if it... I don't know if it's what you're saying is true in terms of all guys are intimidated by strong minded women. I don't, that that was kind of my thought. Is this like, um, is it like something that it's, it's easier to say to yourself than, you know, maybe it's like you have an annoying habit or something, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think there's definitely something to that. Like, um, I think women in general, sometimes, uh, they want love really bad, right? Everybody does. and But sometimes that gets a little like overly pushy and maybe they're not intimidated by your job or you being really good at stuff or being a strong like independent woman. Maybe they're intimidated because you're really like intense. Yeah, well, that's, yeah right? Um, it's like it's so, not you know, your job. Like, it's down. that you constantly <laughs> belittle me. Yeah. yeah, like just like calm down, like be your like badass self, but you can be your badass self without being like, I'm a badass and I need you to know that and I'm going to be really forceful about it so that you know because that would be intimidating. I would yeah. feel intimidated. Like <laughs> it, Talking to you, you don't seem like kind of staying with that topic of a lot of women or, or people or women or they'll be like, well, I'm a, I'm a strong-minded person. You yeah. don't even, just, you, do, you, do you 
do, have you ever even described yourself as that? Because you almost seem like you don't feel like the need to. Yeah, I don't really feel the need to. I feel like when you meet me, you kind of get the vibe of who I am as a person and that's it. Like I don't need to like give you a presentation on the person that I am. Like this is it. That's it. So, yeah. <laughs> and so your experience, you haven't had, doesn't seem like you've ever had any trouble with. Uh, I like that how you said in terms of, you're right. It's like how who you surround yourself yeah. with. Like you seem, so it's like, guys, you're going after, you have a beat on, is he just insecure or is he intim Like the, you're yeah. just immediately not attracted to that then. Yeah. I mean, like it goes both ways. There's things that men... I'm sure find about women as like insecure factors, right? And there's things that women find about men. And I find like, if that's bothersome to you, that's that's weird to me and it's an insecure thing. And I'm not really interested in like going any further down this road with you. NH, natural habits, essential oils, people. Uh, scent your, in, like your, your uh, c candles are toxic. F air, Febreze air freshener, toxic. Glue plugins toxic. Get essential oils, USDA organic certified. Get a diffuser, diffuse it, uh, or you can roll it on. I, I I roll on the release on my body before I go to bed every night. It really helps with me relaxing. Which one do you put on? Release before, before I go to bed. Ah. It's meant for helping you calm and relax. Um, so whether you uh, suffer from headaches, uh, have a hard time calming down, sleeping, or you just want your indoor air to smell fucking awesome. I don't go to bed without having diffused oil. And uh, yeah, and know right. that you're not breathing in toxins into your yeah. into your mouth. Essential oils, try it out. Uh, it's they're wonderful. They're healthy, and they smell del wonderful, delicious. I was gonna say, don't eat, yeah. don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> NHOils.com. Uh, we're USDA organic certified. We specialize in blends. Check it out. Always appre appreciate your support. Uh, code thirty percent off. Code Chrissy. K R I S S Y. 30% off, That's free shipping, nhrolls.com. What are some things that you feel like are in life or or in your public life or private life are, are misconceptions that people have about you that get obnoxious? Like one, obviously, being that you're supposed to have hands. dirty hands. The hands thing is the number one thing. It's honestly... Why does I, that bug you so much? <laughs> um, it's just so infuriating because it is kind of like a sexist thing because if you meet a male mechanic with nice hands you don't think anything of it like i used to work at the dealerships and at the dealerships they make them wear gloves their um work uniforms are generally pretty clean because they want them to be clean if they come out and you know see a client or whatever so in general like the mechanics are a lot cleaner than you would expect and you wouldn't think twice about that as a guy but as soon as it's a woman, they're like, oh, you have to be covered in grease head to toe. And it's like, oh, yeah, like I, your hair's gotta be dirty. Oh, you like smell. You're, if I post yeah. something on Instagram and I'm not like, you can't physically see that I am covered in everything possible. They're like, oh, sh she didn't work on that. She just took a picture next to it. Really? Like it's wild. Yeah. <laughs> so it's almost as if like they think you're the, uh, when we uh, had Ginger Z on, um, Good Morning America uh, uh, weather mm -hmm. meteorologist. And yes, it's like the same kind of mantra. Like, yeah. I'm not the hot weather weather girl. They just hire to stand in front of the green screen. Yeah. yeah. You know, where you're like, I'm not the hot, you know, mechanic who just stands in front of the car to pretend I, I'm, I actually, like Ginger, yeah. like I actually studied science. I'm a scientist. <laughs> oh, I yeah. went to school. <laughs> and but it's and like people will people still do that they can't what i've noticed at least from like my own situations is like they have a really hard time connecting being generically good looking and being in a field opposite than your normal like female male field those two things just cannot go together in most people's mind which i always have the same response of like my mascara does not change if I can rebuild a carburetor. Like it has no effect on what I'm doing whatsoever. Do you <laughs> experience that double standard uh, with m just men or with women as well? Um, I do get it from some women, but it's mostly men. Like the women love it. They're like, thank you. Like 
because I like I get women that come up to me and they're like, I tone myself down. Like they work on cars and they purposely tone themselves down to be taken seriously. When you say tone down, almost like ugly up like, kind of thing. Yeah, like know? they'll dress down. No, <laughs> and it's, reverse, it's don't do so my hair. Sad. Slow up. Yeah, no, I slow down. I've met like women. You cut your finger, just let it bleed and let it dry up the next day. You it's know? Cr- it's crazy though how like true it is. I've met women before that um the hands thing again. They'll say before they go and like meet people, they'll purposely like dirty up their hands to like for credibility yeah it's wild to me that's so crazy to me i think that's actually one of the coolest things about you is that you're like so comfortable being feminine and like being like i don't care yeah like well i just think it's like just you should I, be it's just who i am comfortable however you want to be if yeah. you want to be you know dressed down whatever like that's really cool like that's what you're comfortable with sure i'm comfortable like this this is how i like to be and it makes me happy so i'm gonna keep doing it and like i said nothing about this affects how I'm able to do my job. Like uh, my skill is not affected by my appearance. Yeah, that <laughs> makes, it's, I mean, that's obvious, obvious, but obviously right? not, yeah, no, not to, think, but, I mean, <laughs> but it's crazy that we, we do that. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Cause I bet, do you have like young girls that come up to you or just kind of like, like inspired by you or that you like talk to that kind of are like, this is so cool that you're doing this. Cause I bet a lot of young girls have like dads that work on cars and yeah. then like, like all that kind of stuff. And like growing up in that kind of situation, they're kind of like, don't have role models that kind of are like, Oh, I can be like that. Or they just don't go for it at all. Like I have a lot of like girls, women, everything that will come up and be like, yeah, you know, I really, you know, like cars. I wanted to get into it, but you know, it's, it's for boys or, you know, I didn't want to do it because I like being really girly. And I just like was told that that's not a thing that you do. Um, or like, even for me, I grew up building cars my whole life. It's what my dad did. I did it every day and I never took shop class in high school because because it was a boy thing to do and you know it was weird like i remember talking to like my counselor when you pick your elective classes right and i was like well i'm kind of considering like shop class and she she was a woman and she was like "Mm," like that really yeah and i was like okay well school and like i wanted to do it not because i like your dad was like a mechanic oh yeah yeah already like kind of had a and so i never did i never did because at that time, judged. I was still like in that feeling of I'm being judged. It's not what I'm supposed to do publicly. So I'll just do this at home. And and that's my thing here. And I wasn't comfortable enough to go into a classroom full of men and potentially deal with like the consequences of being a woman in that environment. Oh, and that's coming from someone that already was doing that all the time. So can you imagine being a female in high school where you're already like not that confident and trying to go through all of that. But then it's like, you don't have any experience in it, but you want to learn, you know, you don't. Um, what did I end up? She's like home economics. I think I did. I fucking cookie. Yeah. (laughs) But it's, it's wild because like, (laughs) I'm very like housewifey in that sense of like, I cook every day. Like my house looks like Pinterest. Like I'm very, about that but i only did it because that was like what you were supposed to do and like i said that's coming from someone that was already working on cars and i didn't do it so i can't imagine being someone that has no connection to doing that they don't have a dad that does it or something or a mom or anything they want to learn but they never go for it because it's a boy thing to do i want to know about like if people slide into your DMs <laughs> and what they say. My DMs are a very interesting dark place. <laughs> How so? Um, you know, I'm all for people shooting their shot because I think you should. Um, but I get some really inappropriate things in my DMs. Like I had to actually stop using Snapchat because it was just. Just too much dick pic? Oh, like I couldn't open them. Like every, it's just every single one. Un, just random yeah. dick pics. Oh yeah, videos. The videos are always a nice thing to I mean, pop open unexpectedly. Masturbate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. cranking away. So Snapchat's you, not random, a thing random. for me anymore. Like it got that bad that I had but to just- But can't, can't they do that on, so, like it's, I understand that there's a perception in Snapchat <laughs> that like it's It Snapchat. goes away, but It goes like, away, but like, I guess- It doesn't it, really. 
It, yeah, well, there's, yeah. yes, it's the, but, <laughs> but also if they really, so like you don't get them at all on Instagram? Um, on Instagram, I get very um, detailed descriptions about what they would like to do with me. Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, I love And I even dictate. get that in like the comments, like, yeah. and I'll come, I'm on my Instagram, I'm very about, um, I talk to everybody. I try to at least. You engage. Oh, I engage with like everybody. Yeah. So I try the best I can because I mean, I feel like like we're all in it together. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, No, I mean, like I have fun with my followers, you know, Um, but I do get a lot of people that'll leave those type of messages just straight up in the comments. And I usually respond to them with like either like you realize this is like public and everyone can read it. Or um, cool story, bro. That one usually sets them off. <laughs> cool story, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when do you ever get like normal ones? Like, hi, uh-huh. you seem nice. I'd like to get to know you. Um, I do get a lot of those, but. I'm more talking about like things that you would consider. What would, What's the percentage of D? Uh, and I don't mean like. <laughs> DMs or replies, like you posted Instagram story and yeah. people are commenting on whatever it is. Just like random one-off but like, messages. And out of like a slide, yeah. a specific slide. Yeah. Like, um, hey, uh, you know, what are they? Hey, I think you're beautiful. Yeah. I admire you, blah, 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 I'd like blah. To get to know you. I'd like to get to know um, you. Shooting my shot over here. Yeah. This is me sliding. <laughs> I mean, I get a lot of those, but I also... Um, I just got out of a 10 year relationship. So yeah, so I wasn't really paying attention to a lot of those. How long recently <laughs> have you gotten out of that? Um, as of January. So it's still relatively fresh, so. but but eight, it's almost nine months. Yeah. Ha- have you in the past nine months been more like, well, let's see what's, um, have you paid closer attention? Well, we've been on quarantine, so it's a little hard to date, you know. Yeah, well, all the more reason why you might be <laughs> yeah. paying more attention, attention. to um, And also, I feel like, again, I'm not good with technology, and now everyone's in the, like, dating app realm of, like, doing that kind of thing, but I... have on the dating apps. I'm not on any dating apps, no. Um, you thought about it? Yes, but... I guess I'm just not used to that style of dating because the last time I dated was 10 years ago. Do you have, a, what are your <laughs> biggest insecurities about that? We have a lot of people who are in similar positions who are yeah. like, you know, I've been out of the game. Yeah, what no, I, I feel like I'm totally like that person of like, I've been out of the game a long time and uh, I'm not really sure like how that works. Um, I guess my biggest insecurity is definitely getting people that are interested based off face value. Like in my DMs, it's a lot of, um, you know, I I love you, like you're so beautiful and you love cars, you're my perfect woman. So they think that you're the perfect woman because you're pretty and you like cars, which to me is just not, I'm not even interested in continuing this conversation because it's face value. Have you gotten a DM that you, from a guy yeah. that you replied to because they, you thought maybe this person is um, normal. I haven't zero. No, I feel like also though that might be because I haven't really um, put it out there that I'm available. I, I mean, so, but I also, but I, think I also, a lot of people think I also that. get why in your case especially because like yeah, I do I yeah. get DMs from random people and people occasionally shooting their shot, sure, yeah. but the level of aggression that men like as oh, you describe so crazy you know <laughs> that it's just even other women friends that i have that yeah. that even don't have say large fouls yeah like, oh it's it's always like why would you think that works and i'm assuming they don't think it works or they don't they do, i don't though. know i just because why like you have bizarre. to yeah. on some level think that it's gonna work right yeah because like why else would you <laughs> like on some small le- like level you're like you know what this I, might be it i i don't I can't speak for these guys, but like, I just have a hard time believing the guy who's like, you know what? I'm going to take down my pants. Yeah. I'm gonna bust out the lotion. Yeah. I'm going to start jerking off. I'm yeah. going to record it and I'm going to send it to this stranger. Yeah. Because- and she's going to be like, 
maybe I want some of that. Maybe I want they're hoping, hoping that she's the one that's going to be like. Well, maybe yes. I was going to say like maybe they're thinking I I'll feel like it's be a so like blown away by their dick that I'll be like, wow, that's what I need to have. I look at those pictures and I'm like, <laughs> I don't even look at the penis. I look at those pictures that I'll get on like dating apps and I'll be like, why are you wearing white socks with your black sneakers holding your Noticing penis? Everything like that'll be the, the thing that annoys me. Or like, or like, I wouldn't even talk to you because your bed's not made. Like what's wrong with you? <laughs> like that's what I noticed. But you think that guys are... Saying like this is my dick, you should go on. Oh, for I, sure. That- I feel like more it's like a fetish of theirs to show people their like it's because you know how like back in the day the the you know the exposer guy who would like run out in the flasher. trench the flasher for like the thrill. Yeah, I don't know, right? But I feel like the internet allows people like the internet allow people an internet allows people to do a lot of things that they wouldn't normally do. Easy, yeah. like you know with and that's almost like the modern day flashing. Yeah, I just feel because I just don't know who in their right mind would think. Like, <laughs> like, like girls not send that to boys. Could I you imagine? Like, I just can't imagine the the guy who's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna jerk off. I'm gonna send it," and then girl's gonna write back, "Yeah, I'm into that dinner tonight." Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like I said, maybe they you. they think it's gonna work. You know, the girls do what to me? Like, <laughs> you just get a like a DM with a picture of like a new boobs. Yeah, or sure, I have right, but like even then, I'm assuming. That they don't think that I'm going to be like, we should date. I think they do, though. I think if you're sending a nude photograph to a stranger that you're interested in, you're definitely like, this is going to blow them away. But I also (laughs) will give women more like, you know, women are beautiful. Guys are not naked kind of thing. Right. And (laughs) so like and men are simple. I get why. Like because it went. It does work with men more often than, than not. Yeah. But like this whole like, are these guys showing their faces? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> but at least they're really like, at least they're really like showing them you the whole goods, not just yeah. like, yeah, yeah. just the dick. With yeah. this white socket issue. Yeah, how do I know this is your dick? <laughs> yeah. Do you ever fuck around with them? Um, or, or I feel like it's like. Sometimes a, they'll ask for nudes. Like. Either in return Sometimes. or they'll just, a lot of times they ask for nudes. <laughs> Once um, in a while. <laughs> um, and I usually at the time I would be like, yeah, no problem. Like I'll send you one of my husband right now. And then they're like, so, and they're offended. <laughs> they get offended at that point, which is mind blowing to me that they're now offended that I offered to send them a nude of my man when they asked me as a stranger for a nude of myself. But that's usually they would out of nowhere just be like, "Can you send me a nude?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, know. I I mean, I clearly believe it. I just find like I just feel like these are guys who are just like know they're being annoying. No, I really like they're very because they get so upset based off your response that I know that they're serious. But I've learned with all this instead of just being like really like overwhelmed by just the nonsense that I just have fun with it and I just respond in the most like ridiculous fashion that I can think of. Sometimes guys are gross. No, yeah, yeah I get it. Of- <laughs> it's just annoying. It's just, it's, it's, it's amazing, annoying, amazing that you had to delete Snapchat because there yeah. was too much penis. Yeah, the Snapchat was too much. Instagram is more manageable because less people will send you nude photographs on Instagram versus Snapchat. Cock snap, yeah. snap, yeah. snap, yeah. snap, snap, penis snap. Penis snap? Snapchat. Or like I, I get a chat. lot of them asking for an OnlyFans account, but they're asking with the intent of me having nudes on there. Um, I feel like isn't that what it's it's what it's known for? I mean, I'll, I only know that's it my, for that. That's my yeah. it's my backup 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 plan. I mean, I only learned about this last week, so really, just yeah, good for you. If it all goes. To shit. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I get a lot of people that ask for that, and I'm actually thinking of starting one, but it's not going to be of me. I'm just going to put really sexy photos of Car. my Mustang on there. Yeah. And like That's get awesome. people to pay for it thinking that it's going to be like me, but it's well, really just my. Tell car. them on this. Yeah. Like- <laughs> <laughs> but oddly, I think a lot of people would still be down to pay for it. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now that you're out there dating, in a new relation, no, you're in a. I'm in a no relationship. In a no relationship. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, for the guys listening? What are you? What are you looking for in a, in a guy? Uh, are you? 
into more macho manly man because you're in the car industry or or not so much um i don't think that that's something that's like at the top of my priority list actually i think a lot of people would assume i want someone that's like either into cars as well or somewhat like into that style of stuff but um no i mean like i want someone that has their own job um can take care of themselves and is self-sufficient um ha- and I feel like this is something that women never say, but because they're almost worried about men having their own life. But I kind of want you to mean? have like your own life okay. where like I want to be with you all the time and like I want to take a lot of your time. But I also want you to do your own thing because I'm busy all the time. I work nonstop and sometimes I want to have a glass of wine by myself. <laughs> so you value and, your independence even in relationships? Uh, Yeah, like I think like the time that you have together should be really dedicated to like you guys together and focused on that. But I think it's totally healthy to have time alone. And I think that women, especially women my age are terrified of that concept because they think if, they either think if their man is without them that they're doing something bad, right? And that's just, that can't happen. Or they think that if they're not um, with them all the time that somehow they're gonna be like forgotten or not thought of or not a priority but i don't think that's true i think it's healthy to have your own thing so i would want him to have his own like we can share a lot of hobbies and do a lot of things share a lot of friends but i would love them to have their own thing too is that something that you've struggled with in your dating life is that do you find that guys aren't good at that Um, No, actually, I think my ex was actually really good at that. Like we had a lot of things in common that we like to do like together, but we had a lot of things that we would do on our own and he had his own career too. So we were, you know, working in different things that kept us busy too. So I think that part of our relationship actually was really great. And I look for something like that in the next one too. And any, any fun horror story dates that you've had in the, I mean, it's been quarantine, I know, but yeah. like, or, or no dating at all. Uh, I actually have been no dating at all. Yeah. Just been like. Why? Um, you're just not ready. Is it? Is um, it I well, it, I think like there's definitely like when you're with someone for that amount of time, there's that like period of time that you're just like, Ugh, I need a break. Like, gotcha. are you, are you, is it, are you nervous to get back out there? Definitely nervous. I'm nervous, but I think it's in a way that isn't what people would think that I'm nervous about. What what do you Um, think? I think I'm mostly nervous again, going back to like the face value thing is like, everyone wants to date you because they see you as this one thing of like, you're pretty and you work on cars. Great, let's get married. And you're like, whoa, okay. Well, there's like, 10 more layers to this that you're not paying attention to. And I just feel like because of the job that I'm in and because of the, like, I guess being on TV and everything that that's really what they're going to focus on. And I don't want that. You could go, you could go like on a dating app and just not put any cars on there. Change my name. Maybe. I mean, I I mean, like if a guy (laughs) wants to Google you, yeah, he's going to know, but like, like Garcelle had that problem, right? She was like, I went on dating apps and people were like, this isn't really you. Like, send me a real picture. Yeah. I don't, I'm, well, I don't think I'm that, like, I don't think I'm famous. So I don't, I don't think. Well, I mean, yeah. And that's what, what I'm saying is there's <laughs> not like, a lot of guys, me. there's going to be a lot of guys who are going to know who you are. There's going to be yeah. a lot of guys who don't. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, especially if like the, like you put up five pictures and it's like not the type of content yeah. You would say would put on your Instagram or people would who would recognize you would see would be like, that's what this looks like. Yeah. Nonsense, but I don't think. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it is. You know, it, says, yeah. it is. I mean, it says it's yeah. the name, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Just might be a way yeah. of. of uh, like with your dating app, if you could like come up with your dating app, would it be like one of your pictures of you working on a car on a Sunday afternoon or in the garage or just like you in your pajamas watching TV? It would most likely be like me and my puppy because yeah. that is a really big thing. Like if you are going to date me, you have to accept that I have like a furry son that comes yeah. along with the package I love um, because he's basically like my child. So you just have to know you're going to be like 
you know, a stepdad yeah. in the mix. Uh, I feel like <laughs> you should you should get back out there and and yeah, and, and uh, start getting on some bad dates. You know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I haven't had like a bad date in a long time. You have to have yeah. a couple bad dates. Yeah, I think that's kind of part of the getting out. Yeah. I will say, like, I would be very excited. Like, I get almost envious of women that get to talk about their, like, horrible experiences, like, with their friends, where they're like, yeah, I went on this date last night, and it was crazy, and I had to have, like, so-and-so call me so I could get out. Like, I just think that'd be really fun, and I've never gotten to experience that before. I assure you so. that if, when you start dating again, you yeah. will, it's you going know, to happen. Or like, where you have to, like, sneak out yeah. the back door. And, like, I don't know. I've never gotten to experience that, and part of that seems very fun yeah. to me, actually. Wait, the, the, what women actually leave dates. Is it because they feel really uncomfortable or, or unsafe? or Because, like, leaving a date and, like, powering through like an awkward date are two very different things right like yeah i mean i can't relate it to a dating aspect obviously but i can relate that to just like in a normal situation i don't think that i would be the person to just get up and leave and they have no idea but you're already like two blocks down the road like for me like if it i'm not into this i'm gonna tell you like i'm leaving now mm-hmm. bye <laughs> like yeah I don't know. I was at a bar one day and this girl was like, oh, I'm going to go get drinks for us. And she like met this like Tinder date. And he's like, I'm going to go get go to the bathroom. And she was like sitting right next to us at the bar. And he just never came back. Oh, and I felt so bad for her. I actually took her out drinking the rest of the gonna, night. But like, I, like, oh, I felt you never she was back. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. She was beautiful. She was from Sweden. She was in town. Oh, like, it's like, that would be me. And the I would guy buy was her like, drinks. So I was like, like girl, let's go to the Abbey and I'll just buy you some drinks. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. But he literally was like, yeah, get me a whiskey drink. I'm just going to run to the bathroom. And then literally like 15 minutes later, I was like, I was like, I don't think he's coming back. And I felt so bad. And she was just sitting there. I was like, come have a drink see, with me. But see, that's annoying. Just say you don't want to be make there. Yeah. Because it's that kind of stuff that then women are like, oh, I don't want to date. Guys are awful. All this stuff. Yeah. And it's like, just be a friend. You're just be a friend. You're going to have a bad yeah, you're going to have, I mean. I mean, I want to have a bad date that's like awkward because I'm like, whoa, this person's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I've, but literally, like, I've literally sat down at a date before and someone's been like, oh, you're a lot thicker than I thought you ooh. were. And I would be like, cool, I'm going to go now. And I just would leave. <laughs> like, you're a lot more rude than I was yeah, expecting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You've had that happen? Oh, yeah. God, guys are dicks. Guys are such that's dicks. A, I just like, if you're not feeling it, just be straight up and be like, Mm, I, this isn't really there's like this connection is yeah not i don't happening. think it feels i'm gonna take off yeah caught up with a friend last night and she was um kind of re-engaging in the dating life and, and uh, she was telling me how she like recently went on a, a date with a guy who i mean her her is like one of the so she's like i got catfished and it wasn't like she got catfished in a like a uh, f- official sense but like everything about his dating profile was a lie you know he said he was 39. He was like 45. He didn't mention he had two kids, which you can debate whether he has to yeah. do it right away. Yeah. His picture looked not. He was like 40 pounds lighter, looked, had less hair. It was like nothing about it was current yeah. or recent. And like, and then when she met him, he just like pretended that wasn't, he, he said he was 5'10". He was clearly 5'8". Uh, or five eleven, you know, it was yeah. like everything about it. And yeah. she's just like, well, and I'm like, did you like point it out? Did you leave? She's like, I just... No, I just went along with it. She muscled through. Muscled through the first date and it was awkward and weird and, and things like that. But yeah, she didn't like leave. Even then, and I would you I would argue that you could have a right to if someone was so dishonest about how they represent themselves yeah. in a dating app yeah. um, of like just looking like a different person, lying about their age. Because yeah. even like she, she brought it up. Uh, it came up on the date where he admitted his age. And, and I'm like, so what? He just pretended as if he didn't know that his yeah. dating app said he was like five years younger. Like he set it up five years ago and just yeah, didn't update it. Like, it. Like, that was like just auto a typo. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. No, what, what, what are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean? Why would you think I'm 39? Yeah. Uh, because it's the first thing I see, you know, like, um, but she just powered through. And I feel like that's a normal. Oh, see, uh, I, I don't know. Would you? I'm just not that girl, I guess. You would, you would get Yeah, no, me? I'd be like, um, holding on my phone like hey i don't know who you are yeah like you're not the person i'm meeting um sorry that takes i'm very like but i'm just very upfront about everything like i just feel no need to 
try to like <laughs> if you <push. laughs> if you uh met a guy on a dating app who said he was six foot how tall are you you're tall yeah i'm like almost five eight how do you feel about shorter guys that's fine okay yeah. I, I feel like that's a weird thing like when people get really attached to stuff like that or like they're like i only date blondes and i'm like oh. okay cool but like what if you meet a smoking brunette yeah. like you just never know so what if you meet the one and he's five eight and you're just like i can't do it you're five eight like that's weird He's the I, one. I, I mean, I'm just. And that's why you be like a, you're still single is because of these hangups. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, sound, you make a lot of sense. But if a guy lied about his height. I think that. Would you be like, only... would you go, would you make up a stand up against the wall? I'll be like, all right, I don't buy it. It says you're six foot. You're clearly five eight. Like I'm if I walked up yeah. and saw it, I honestly would probably start laughing a little. And I, if he made like a joke about it. I might be like, well, I could have one drink and see. Yeah, what like happened. if he was like, I yeah, forgot like, my lifts at home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if he was real funny about it, I might give him like one drink just to see what it's about. And then I'd be like, well, was that like an insecurity thing? You know, later on. In- yeah, he's like, listen, I just needed to get you to go out with me because I know I'm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like if you come my in. My body and- language says I'm 6'4", baby. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, yeah. like if they don't say anything like like your friend said or something like that, that's weird to me. Yeah. You have to at least be coming in with something hilarious about why you would lie about that. What if your guy's really young? Really younger than you or way older than you? I mean, they you. have a matter? lot more stamina, right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> so age nothing really matters to you just as like their personality no, if That's it fits cool. it fits yeah. yeah yeah exactly exactly if it fits it fits that should be the title of this episode yeah, yeah. um <laughs> do you have a uh, time for a little game oh, called yeah. do you mean do you know me before we let you go yeah it's real simple i'm just gonna ask <laughs> do you know me and uh chrissy and i are going to, don't answer right away. Okay. So I'll read the question. Does Constance this, okay. that? Think about your answer. We'll try to guess. Okay. And we'll see who knows <laughs> you better. I was going to say, I feel like you got to run for your money right now. <laughs> <laughs> with, with Chrissy? Yeah. Because we had a, a good like 10 minutes before you got here to um, deep dive in the girl talk. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> And I got to pick the questions. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. I'm, I'm, As I'm, he's checking his notes. I'm looking notes. through your notes just to, <laughs> to get, a, get a, a, a cheat. A cheat. I'm cheating. All right. Do you know me with Constance Nunes? Question number one. Does Constance use a loofah in the shower? Just so I'm clear, a loofah is a something that's functional and you use to wash yourself. Yeah, it's like the puppy thing. Okay. That you'd put apply soap on it yeah. and then use it to then yeah. wash your body. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to say no. This is, I'm going to say, that I've because I've most got, like myself, I'm just like, <laughs> put the soap on my hand and just start rubbing it yeah. around. And uh, I like one of those seafoam like sponge things, so I like to use those. So I'm going to say no. So you're he saying know the difference between those two things. I'm just, which is, yeah, I, I'm just saying it has set in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying she uses something other than her hand. <laughs> it's hand or something else. Those oh, are the categories. In that case, thank you, thank yeah. you Constance. Yeah. In that case, yeah, she uses something other than her hand. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll say. Well, now, now you need to. Know if you're saying is. that I, it's like loofah or the field, <laughs> then I'm not as confident. <laughs> The loofah takes down Nick. <laughs> I'll, I'll just stick with my answer, loofah. Yeah. Um, I do use a loofah. Yeah. <laughs> when you work in the shop, you need that extra Scrub. scrubbing. Yeah. Yeah. So that you can have those pretty hands. Yeah, yeah. So that the boys can. So that the boys can them. judge you. Yeah, ask yeah. you about that for the judginess. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever been catfished? Has Constance ever been catfished? Well, I'm going to say no only because she's 
been married yeah. and and hasn't actively been in the dating world recently to to be catfish you have to give a shit you have to like <laughs> you know what i'm saying you have to be like oh this person might be someone i'm interested in talking to regardless if it's relationship professional or otherwise and then only to find out that's not who they were yeah and i don't feel like she has been catfished yet Yet being the operative yeah, word that yes. she, in a, if we check in a year from <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, she's like, be like, check back like, now. <laughs> I'm going to agree with your analysis, Nicholas. No, I have not been catfished. Okay. Can't but wait you know, to let's, do. I was going to say, let's make it exciting, though. Anyone listening out there that <laughs> wants to catfish me, let's, yeah, make let's it have Brad some Pitt. fun. Has Constance ever been walked in while having sex? Oh, uh, walked in on? Yeah. I'm going to say. I mean, your parents can walk in on you in high school. I'm going to go with sure. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to go with yes in some form or another. I feel like everyone's been walked in on once or yeah. twice. Or once. Yes, quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Where? Um, All sorts of places. Yeah. It happens. We, so all, all sorts of places would suggest that maybe you're performing said acts in places that privacy is questionable. Sure, yeah. I mean, when you're in the mood, you're in the mood. Okay. Yeah. yeah. God, we're gonna, we should be it's more like an, friends. It's more like an so invitation. We can go out later. <laughs> I love it. Like walked in on her and it's just like, oh my God, why are you walking in here? Like, cause the door was open. <laughs> oh no, it's more like they do, they back out and then later they're like, what was going on in there? Yeah. I have questions, I'm curious, they're interested. Did, this is a good one, this is a good one. Did Constance cry while watching The Lion King? Have you seen The Lion King? The new one or the old one? Yeah. Trick question. Does it? Mm -hmm. Either. Okay. Any Lion King? Eh, no. Let me say yes. Okay. And by cry, I mean, she just at least a single tear. She does love animals, so I don't know. When Maybe. I don't, if you didn't cry when Mufasa died, I don't think you have a heart. <laughs> I feel like you're leading the the question and the answer now with that one, but yeah. um, <laughs> uh, no, no. But that's because the last time I saw it, I think I was like five. I'm sure if I watched it today. What about I'd Titanic? Cry. Have you ever cried during Titanic? Yes. Oh yeah. Damn, I should have. Everyone cries during Titanic. Yeah. I don't. You don't. It's like he's frozen. Just let him go. I don't know. Just like I cried What's the other that? night watching he, Mr. Holland's Opus. He could have fit <laughs> on that door. I'm pretty sure. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I cry. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're being kind of selfish, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I know you can drive stick shift. Uh, but what about like the old people in the bed holding each other while the water's rushing? You know That's that was crying. based off real people. I know. Who? It's I like the it. owners of Macy's or something. I, the old I couple that don't like bed quote me water, on that, like but I'm pretty them. sure it was Macy's, the the original founders of Macy's. Hmm. Yeah. Does Constance in the picture on their phone lo it is? Ooh. Wait, it's is it, how do I read this? Is Constance <laughs> in the picture on their phones lock? It's like, do, do you oh, have a picture of yourself on the phone lock on your screen. screensaver? Oh, oh, I'm yeah. Say no. I'm gonna say sure. She's got some hot pictures. I do, but it's not like an actual photo of me. It's like a pinup drawing of me in my car. Yeah. Okay. I have the. That was tough because I would. I almost would have. Yeah. Said her dog was Fact on it. Resetting <laughs> raindrops. Online. Nice. Nice. Oh. You know that's a very like a uh, you're keeping it classic. You know. Yeah. Did the raindrops move? Uh, last question: <laughs> Has Constance ever been to Coachella? Of course, she's from L.A. I mean, even if she's been married, married couples can go get music. Do they do, they do cool car show stuff at Coachella? She's been know. to Coachella. I'll say no, just for fun. I have not. Um, I'm like a Metallica person, so. Nice. <laughs> what is that? What is a Metallica person um, mean? Like I listen to mostly like rock Still. stuff. Yeah, so I've seen them like. 12 times now metallica yeah Enter but i have Sandman. not been to coachella but i did want to go this year because i was like i'm single and that's like a thing single people yeah. do right is go to coachella but 
now now that's not a thing. Yeah. It's like I think bachelor people yeah. do too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Seems very Instagram and coach. hip, you yeah. know. Oh, stagecoach. I knew it was yeah. one of them. Yeah. I haven't done that either. Well, they seem like single people events, so it yeah. wasn't something that stagecoach. I think would be you know, fun. That's more country. I like that more. It, you know, the drinking cer- portion is cer- exciting. Certainly single people events, but I think yeah, why can't couples go to music concerts together? Yeah, I mean, well, I think you go. I mean, you're to not those... good chance you won't get herpes because well, yeah. the single people. Mm-hmm. You know, you never know at a music festival. Yeah, just saying. It's like, <laughs> just perhaps. <laughs> So we're doing new things this year, so it's yeah. on my list. Like I'm working music, one music thing at a time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> First, I got to get on a dating app. I need to be catfished now by several people. The list is just getting really long. It's a brave new Maybe dating app. Maybe the are off that list. <laughs> uh, Constance, it's been a ton of fun. Thanks for uh, uh, sharing with us your, your stories. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, fascinating to... Really cool what you're doing uh, and uh, always fun to talk to uh, women like yourself who uh, are doing things and uh, setting an example for not only women out there, but men that uh, you can do whatever it is you have a passion for and uh, you don't uh, have to explain why you love something. And when your high school guidance counselor (laughs) tells you that... uh, Maybe you should do something a little bit more man- manly or feminine. Who, if you're a man or woman, you just tell them to go fuck themselves yeah, and, exactly. and tell them to do. You're gonna do whatever it is you want to do and, and be awesome at it. So, it's your life. Uh, way to be a great role model for for people out there. And uh, where can people find you uh, before uh, uh, we let you go? Um, they can find me on Netflix, watching Car Masters season one and two, um, and Instagram at Constance underscore Nunes. Yeah, there you go. And see, the underscore is important. Yeah. So otherwise, it's like, I don't know. I looked up. There's no good pun on the underscore. Uh, thanks for much. Uh, I really appreciate you coming on. And uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, don't forget to send your questions at asknick at castmedia.com. Cast with a K. Uh, anything else before we, we go? No. Uh, don't forget to send your reviews. Thanks so much for listening.